Hello and welcome to porting tips, uh, porting and polishing tips from CC Specialty Tool. Um, we're going to go over, you can find all the products you see tonight online at ccspecialtytool.com. We're going to go over a few techniques for using carbide burrs. These lovely little things here that will uh, take metal out. And uh, first thing here uh, I need to go over is what kind of uh, motor you need. Now you see a lot of people using air grinders which have to work at a very high RPM. We do not recommend that because this is aluminum that you're working on. You can see this cylinder head's had a rough life here. But uh, when you're working with aluminum, running at a very high RPM such as this can actually start to heat up the aluminum. That was only about 20,000 RPM. The air grinders you can get up close to 100. That's very unnecessary and a very bad idea when working with aluminum because it can actually tend to heat this up and distort the aluminum, melt the aluminum, and change the actual metallurgy and start to harden it, which is not what you want to do. So we recommend in using motors like ours that have full torque at any RPM. I have the same amount of torque down here at a low RPM as I do all the way up here at full RPM. And being able to use that entire range, we also use a foot control, which works very well at varying your speed with, you know, both your hands free. But anyway, um, having that control over the RPM and having that torque at any RPM really works out great. So let's go over a few techniques right quick here. Uh, this, as you can tell, most carb uh, carbide burrs are right hand cut. So you'll actually do more cutting on the metal surface when you're coming against it in this nature. Now when you're going back the other way, you're still doing cutting, but not as much. I like to keep the carbide burr moving. It's a lot easier to smooth out that way, get better, get better results. Uh, the other thing is I like to use um, a little bit of porting wax on this. You can see this at the first. It had a little bit of porting wax build up. It just helps lubricate the uh, cutting surface, helps it move smoother. Another thing, uh, you may want to wear some glasses. Me and Blake always do that just for safety. Uh, you can find those at CC Specialty Tool as well. Uh, let's go here and show just a quick cut through. Now you have to watch. This is a diamond cut. Aluminum cuts will be a lot faster. This uh, glass is just right through that metal in a hurry. In no time flat, you can get through the aluminum. It's a lot easier to take aluminum off than put it back. So watch what you're doing. Don't get overzealous with cutting through. Like I said, this is old practice one. It's, uh, it's seen better days. Uh, another thing I want to go over here is using right hand, or I'm sorry, using long carbide burrs, such as this. One. Now, these are great if you can't reach in any other manner, but, uh, when you're working like this right here, you can get a nice surface. But when you start to press back to the back end, you're putting pressure along that shank. That can start to bend that shank. That tip will come off center and start to helicopter. It can flop around in there. It can uh, damage the tool, damage you, and damage the cylinder head. So try to work with the shortest shank that you can actually reach it with. It just works a little bit better. Uh, another thing here is let's go to right angle porting tools. And right angle porting tools are good for transfers. Let me flip this around here, Blake. And uh, can you see that pretty good? One second. There we go. All yeah. right. Now transfers I'm are these little... Way. No, you're good. Are these uh, little ones right back here. Now when you're working with a right hand cut burr, you will tend to get at certain angles. If you go flat on, it will tend to chip and chatter. You see how it's vibrating there? Okay. If you will come in at a, more of an angle and vary your angle, like I'm doing right here, you can run a whole lot smoother. Also, again, being able to go at low RPMs at different angles works really well. Now, another thing is things like the 1MC can run left-hand carbide burrs. Uh, you'll find those online at ccspecialtytool.com, and they can get bit, they're good for doing the contra angles, uh, like the ones that are kind of hard to pull against. I like to be pulling against the carbide burr as I'm running. Let me get a little bit better angle on this. I like to be pulling against it, it uh, against the cut of the carbide burr. It helps it run nice and smooth. Again, let the carbide burr do the work. Don't put as much pressure as you might think on there. Let the, let the tool do the work. Don't try to do it without pressure. Those are just a few quick tips that can help you when using carbide burr.